hello and welcome back to your new tutorial so this is going to be a new tutorial series on graphics so here I'm going to draw a few graphics in Android mobile so the first tutorial will be based on a simple line chart I'm gonna use a Android MP library so here is a MP Android chart library so it's uh, created by uh, Phil J so if you say it has a lot of type of the charts such as a line chart line chart with the legions uh, see these are the beautiful charts so I uh, usually prefer uh, MP Android chart based on a uh, graph view of Android native library it's easy to use and also it is very fast it is one of the fastest library which you can use into Android development right it's a very you know the very awesome if you can see these type of charts you can visit to the github.com field mp android chart and uh, then you can also get its wiki page so let's come to the wiki page okay so once you come to wiki page come to the getting started in a getting started so we need to do few things okay let's do those things uh, first of all that we need to add a uh, dependencies let me see where is dependency I think it is in user section yes so in user section it is here you can find the dependencies so first of all that we need to add this repository so let's copy it and add it to into a gradle module app okay perfect and the another one is compile github fill j right so let's add that here also perfect so com dot github dot fill j mp android chart version 3.0.2 what you can do here you can make here it plus so that it will automatically take you know the latest library which has a version 3 point and plus now let's uh, sync it and uh, now let's do some changes into activity underscore main dot xml we get rid of it and now we need to make it as a relative layout let's make it relatively oops let's make it a relative layout right so now we need to add here our line chart that's a very simple so you can just type here a line oops sorry a line chart okay I think uh, this is still uh, version numbers can lead to unpredictable and unacceptable uh, so what we can do let's sync it okay don't go three point uh, plus okay so let's uh, let it build once yeah so it is downloaded now we can create our line chart okay oh my goodness the mac is hanging oh my god so here a line chart right so you can press command option and l for a reformat and then we can say here match parent and also here you can say a match parent and also we need to give here a id so for id we can give it as a sorry line chart right see this is line chart now everything has been done into main xml let's close it close it now we need to do few you know you uh, need we, we, we need to write a lot of code here so first of all that we need to uh, extend sorry we need to implement here that is on chart gesture listener on chart gesture listener and also i want to implement here uh, on chart value selected listener right okay great so now let's create a tag here so we can do with the log t okay great now we need to create our chart so oops line chart let's make it as a m chart okay perfect now let's do some coding into a on create method so in on create method first of all that we need to get a you know the id reference of our line chart so that could be the m chart is equal to 
the line chart find vyd dot r dot id dot dot uh, line chart right okay now i think uh, we need to set uh, here on gesture and uh, uh, on chart value selected listener right so set on uh, chart gesture listener show and then uh, sorry uh, main oops uh, main activity dot this and we need to also set m chart dot set on on chart value selected listener with the main activity dot this right so now let's uh, now we can also enable uh, drag in our line chart so let's set a drag enable is equal to true and uh, uh, one more thing what we can do let's uh, set chart set uh, uh, scale enable false let's make a uh, uh, scale enable to false so we cannot scale it okay uh, we can do these you know the testings uh, later now let's move to another part of the coding that is uh, our data right so here uh, uh, what we can do uh, we can create a data here so we can do with the array list now with the array list we need entry right so for a line chart we need an entry here type of entry now let's say it's a y value y value is equal to uh, new array list right so now let's make a line data set okay so the line data set is a set one okay now we need to initialize this set one so we can do this set one so set one is equal to new line data set uh, with y uh, y values and uh, let's give its name as a data set one so we have initialized our you know the set one now what we can do we can do the set one dot set fill alpha so the, let's fill it with the 120 value 110 value and apart from this we can do a lot of things but before that we need to you know uh, we need to set few uh, some values into our y value right so in a y value what we can do uh, we can create an array in our y value okay so what i can do here mm, uh, i can do something like uh, uh, i can add few value into y value right so y values dot add and then i need to create here new entry right so while creating a new entry i need to give some value let's give some value so 0 and let's give a 60f okay and let's copy it and paste it five six times so here i'm creating a manual data set however you can create it using a for loop also right oops and six and let's change this value to 50 make it to let's say 70 make it to the 30 and make it to the 50 again let's make it to 60 and then 70 uh, let's make it let's say uh, 65 right so the six value now the value has been added to the set one now the set one alpha color has been you know the implemented now what we can do here uh, now we need to create here a, a data set right so what we can do here uh, we can create a data set here so for that uh, we need to do uh, array list and then in the array list we need i line data set equal to data sets is equal to new array list right 
and then we need data sets dot you know the dot add right in this we need set one okay now after this uh, we need our line data right so for that line data is equal to data equal to new line data and in that we can pass our uh, in line data we can pass our uh, data set right so let's pass here a data set perfect now the data set uh, now the data has been prepared now we need to uh, set the data into m chart so the m chart dot set data and then data right so now let's uh, run it and see the result Uh, somehow something oh my goodness a lot of you know uh, what I can do it uh, I can remove this one without any problem okay uh, and also I can uh, comment this now let's run it right now let me show you here see the 60 50 70 30 50 60 and the 65 so this is data set one right perfect now let's play if you uh, uh, we, we can play with this one uh, I mean uh, let's say suppose that uh, it's a color we can change its color you know the line color so these things we can set up these things we can change it very easily right so let's do some experiments here so we can do here set one dot set color and then colors dot let's make it red right so once you make it red and then we can see that changes here see the line color has been you know made it red now uh, we can add here circles and we can also change the colors of these circles and also we can change the line width so let's uh, change a line width right so what we can do set one dot uh, sorry uh, uh, I think uh, this must be line width I do not know why it is not coming set one dot oops dot line width is not coming yeah set line width sorry so let's set it 3f okay and let's run it ah uh, you can see it here see the line width has been increased all right so uh, I mean there are a lot of things which uh, we can say now let's increase the size of the text so we can do that very easily by using a set one dot a set value text size and also we can change the set value text color also so let's change it to let's say the 10f and uh, see here see right now let's change this color to the green okay so what we can do it set one dot set value color to colors dot let's set it to the green see here the green color right perfect so this was a very simple uh, graph uh, line chart in the next tutorial I will be doing more experiments on the line chart so stay tuned and you can subscribe this channel to directly get update into your inbox okay thanks for watching bye bye